Hello guys, welcome to Revit 2016 video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will talk about how to set up the grid for uh, modeling and building. So let's uh, open Revit. So once uh, the Autodesk Revit 2016 opens, Since this is the first time, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Oh, come on. Don't be a Peter. Very good. So, uh, as soon as Revit 2016 opens so you will uh, select a new project over here this open project means uh, already a created project file but we have we don't have any pro created project file we are gonna create it now so we'll select new and we'll go to browse and we'll go back uh, to templates and we'll select US Imperial and over here uh, we'll select structural analysis default uh, it's a uh, kind of a uh, default page for uh, modeling the building select open over here create project select ok so now as you see uh, this is the page uh, where you can uh, create the grid and uh, design the uh, I'm sorry uh, and model the entire building and here you have some levels like a uh, ground floor first floor second floor what we'll do is we'll delete the analytical levels okay and also so uh, we have elevations uh, from uh, east north south and west we can see how does the model or building looks like uh, we can also have 3d view so first uh, in order to uh, model a building we need to set up a grid what we'll do is we'll go to structure and select grid now I will draw a uh, let's say a horizontal line okay so now uh, I have drawn a grid line now I'll select escape so I'll go back to grid once again over here I'll select pick lines and then I'll select an offset of 20 feet okay uh, now since I'll be picking this line so I can uh, offset I can uh, create a line on the other side or on the opposite side uh, so I need on this side here you go here you go here you go so I'm gonna uh, keep it simple I will be having all the equal spaced grids okay that's lo that looks good now I need a uh, vertical line so what I'll do is I'll once again go to grid and I'll select uh, a vertical line till the end now once again I'll select pick line and I'll select let's say 20 feet and here you go 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 uh, you can also just uh, copy a line instead of uh, having an offset so basically it will be like uh, it will be like selecting the line okay just uh, once again it will be like selecting the line and then going over here copy and now uh, selecting a base point like if you want uh, this as a base point so here you go uh, till this end so that uh, exactly it will be uh, 20 feet distance 
okay uh, so now this is our grid but looks like uh, uh, these lines are short uh, so what we'll do is we'll select this purple circle and we'll move till the end so that all the lines will move I hope you are understanding what I'm saying. Uh, select the purple circle and move it. Similarly, this side. Okay. Everything almost looks good. Now, just go back. Okay. Uh, now you need to move this over here. These are kind of elevations. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll just uh, select this and I'll try to move it over here here you go that looks good and then this one will be over here here you go So basically, uh, this will be a this will be like uh, a project, uh, like uh, modeling a house entirely, uh, starting from the grid, then going for uh, like foundations and walls, beams, columns, everything. So now, once we have set up the grid, this will be uh, like our uh, this will be our grid for all the floors but uh, let us uh, select an elevation like for example south so as you can see in south there are two levels okay uh, let me go back uh, let's say level one okay uh, so uh, As you see, uh, these are these are uh, these are given. All of them are like uh, there are numbers. I mean, you can edit those uh, to either A, B, C, whatever you want. Now that you see uh, the distance between this is twenty feet. I mean, if you are to edit this to 30 feet it gets increased I hope you understood what I want to say you can even manipulate the distance over here so now once we are done over here let's go to select south and let's say let's see the levels so the level 1 starts at 0 feet and 0 inches uh, let me just uh, rename this as basement saying zero basement and then select yes now edit this as 20 minus so uh, it will be somewhere bottom okay now what you'll do is uh, you'll select the level and you'll select copy and since uh, we don't have base point it will be really difficult what we'll do is we'll just uh, cancel this okay and we'll go to structure over here we have a level So now you can just uh, select a level at a distance of OK. 
Okay, just hold on a second. Um, I'll select a level and I'll select an offset of 20 feet. I'll pick up the line and offset 20 feet. Now I'll select this line. Here we go. So, uh, I have created a level okay I'm gonna delete the level 3 and so we have 0 now I will rename this as ground I'm sorry ground select yes and now so over here we'll have foundations and from here it will start the ground floor and let us select this as to say first floor Yes, and I need to modify this height. Uh, so let's select 15 feet. That would be okay. This looks good, but you see uh, the grid is the grid will this is the grid these uh, vertical lines are the grid and the grid will not be visible in uh, basement level since we don't have the grid over there so what we'll do is we'll select the grid and we'll move the purple circle towards the bottom so as you see uh, the purple circle as you see uh, the grid has moved till the basement and you will try to move it upwards Since we are gonna have uh, a lot of levels now, following the same procedure, uh, going selecting level, selecting pickup line, and selecting offset as 15 and picking up the line. Okay, let's see first floor second floor third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth that's enough so uh, we have nine floors and a ground floor and a basement now we are done with the setting up the grid so I mean you can modify the grid like uh, the distances over here you can even the modify the level distances Uh, so in the probably in the next tutorial I will almost rename all these levels as second floor, third floor, fourth floor uh, and in next tutorial we will move forward to foundations probably uh, thank you for watching the video